Hello and welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Roy Shirley, my Seuss and Women's Volleyball Head Coach Dave Trumbo. And Coach, uh, quite a lot's happened since we last spoke about a month ago. Um, just overall, how's, how's the season been going for you? Uh, about as be expected. Yeah. Um, I thought we played, you know, we were really pointing toward that Hopkins game, yeah. both undefeated. They were ranked number nine in the country at the time. Yeah. Uh, I believe they're ranked number seven now. And we played them really well for two yeah. sets, split, and then did not play well long enough right. that night. And that kind of steamrolled into a loss to, Mary, uh, to uh, Marymount. Yeah. Um, who I think we just ran into a steamroller that night. Marymount played fantastic. We yeah. just played okay on their court. Um, but it really gave us some things to work on yeah. and look at uh, going into this last week. Yeah. Yeah. Talk a little more about that Hopkins match. I was not the results you wanted, but I'm sure, one, you learned some things, and two, it was a great atmosphere that night. Two undefeated teams, you know, had a pretty good crowd. And it was a fun night despite, you know, maybe not as a coaching staff, it maybe wasn't as fun a night. But for a fan, I'm sure it was a it was a fun yeah, night. I, I felt like, and of course, they were. It was free. <laughs> Mission was free, but I thought that the fans got a lot for the, for uh, for their enjoyment. Yeah. I mean, the first two matches were great. I thought we served the ball extremely well in the second set and passed it well. So when we were able to get them a little bit out of system and predictable, we could set up our block, and uh, we had nine blocks through the first two sets. Yeah. And then the fans really got into it, and I think that really bothered Hopkins a little bit. Yeah. Uh, before they kind of regroup, we didn't pass as well and um, there were four weeks and we didn't serve as well uh, so that was kind of the story but the fact that we have four freshmen on the court playing in that kind of atmosphere is great learning experience for them right obviously you do nothing but help going forward um, another match that kind of uh, had kind of that big match atmosphere uh, when you're up at Arcadia at the beginning of the month uh, you're down two sets to none they were serving for the match and you were able to come back with that fourth set and were able to win in the fifth so uh just kind of talk about that and how that match went. Well, that we we've probably never gotten beaten that badly in the first two sets. Yeah. I mean, they I mean, beat us 25-18, 25-16, and uh, we were just trying to grind it out because they were playing incredible and we yeah. were not playing well at all. And we're just trying to grind it out until we started playing well and they came down to earth. Yeah. And we won that third set and the fourth set. They had us 22-18, to 18, and they end up getting two match points, yeah. serving for two match points. And... Uh, Somehow we were able to pull it out, and then the third, the fifth set was 15 13. Yeah, so in points, they beat us by 10 points. Right. So we walked out of that match not feeling great yeah. because they girls are not used to getting beaten like that. So, right. um, we made some adjustments based on that match as well. Yeah. And uh, that was, I mean, that's just us just believing we could win. Yeah, you know, that's that was that was that what it came down to. Yeah. And talk about, um, you know, we've, we're shifting towards the end of the regular season. You've got match tomorrow at Hood, and then uh, Friday you close out against Scranton at home, and then obviously the conference tournament next week. So kind of talk about, you know, those last couple of matches and then heading into next week. Okay. Well, we've got back-to-back -back matches, uh, and I do that purposely. And if we do get a bid to the NCAA tournament, we have to play three in a row right. if we want to get out of our region. So we're playing back-to-back -back purposefully at the yeah. end of the season. They get a weekend off to kind of regroup. Uh, we're going to host the semifinals. Uh, Lycoming uh, beat Lev Val last night. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not sure who the four. I think the four or five is going to be like probably be going to be a the winner of Lycoming and Lev Val. Yeah. Um, and so we'll prepare for them, and hopefully we can get to the finals on a Saturday night. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, it's something you certainly don't want to take for granted. It's obviously exciting to be in this uh, position again, once again, and uh, uh, just talk about moving forward um, that being able to be in this position once again. Well, we had a little meeting uh, last week with the freshmen. Yeah. I'm not sure they really understood the gravity yeah. of what was going on and how difficult it is to be where we are right. uh, and how it's they had played 25 matches. It was time for them to step up. Yeah. We weren't getting a lot of communication on the court. Uh, and we just, the, the freshmen, because there's so many of them, had to step up and start right. to make plays. And I think they've responded. Practice has been a little bit crisper. Uh, the focus has a little bit, a, been a little bit better as we come down. This is when we play our best volleyball. Yeah. And, and we expect high-level play here at the end of the season. Yeah. 
And certainly, you know, looking at the regional rankings, you know, maybe in other years, maybe there's a chance for that at large or something like that. This year, it's a conference tournament. And that's Absolutely. your only, your kinda, only road in. Kind of knew that from the very beginning. Yeah. Um, I've got to say, I'm very pleased to be 25 and two at this point. Right. There were a lot of matches on our schedule that I thought could go the other way, yeah. and we were able to step up and take. So at 25 and two, I'm okay yeah. with with that and where we are. And if we can't win our conference tournament, we don't deserve to be in. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach, we wish you the best of luck in the next couple of weeks, and uh, we'll chat again soon. Thanks, Greg. All right, for Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Trumbo Show.